This is Russell Smith in Los Angeles. It's February 2015. I have two pieces showing here. These are uh, wind-ups uh, number, let's see, 10 and 11. They're quite similar, uh, done with a similar motor. Um, we're going to title them. I, I guess I'd call them random one and random two. One, one of the distinguishing features is that the motion does not repeat. In this case, the motor, the motor has two outputs. Uh, this chain right here is being pulled by the spring barrel. This is where the power of the motor is. And the spring is uh, pulling that can around at the rate of about one revolution per minute. On the other side of the motor, we have the spindle, which would have driven the original photograph, phonograph. This is turning at 78 revolutions per minute. Um, the one revolution side is lifting quite a substantial weight. This is a little freeform weight here, uh, which is pulled by this handmade chain. So as the, as the motor lifts the weight, drag is created, which slows down. There's a different weight on this one. Uh, drag is created on the 78 RPM side, which slows it down, which changes uh, the rate at which this hammer spins. The hammer goes up and hits a pendulum, which hanging down. And the pendulum then goes up and comes around periodically and gives the bell a good whack. Uh, so when the, when the weight of the ball is dropping, the pendulum spins faster. When the ball is being lifted, the pendulum uh, it hits the ball fewer times. Um, this is a rather unusual motor. I haven't, I, I ended up getting four of these. Uh, and they're the only ones I've seen that have this exposed uh, gear case. Now here's the usual governor. This regulates the, the speed of it. There's a speed control here, which allows me to stop it or start it or change the, the rate of the spin. Well, it looks like the one on the left has given up for this round. These pieces were definitely made uh, with their static position in mind. Um, most of the life of these sculptures will be uh, silent. They won't be moving. So it, I, I, as much as I can, I try to design so they're attractive to look at when they're not doing anything. Anyway. That's it.